<laughs> Good afternoon, what's going on? Big day of uh, sitting behind the camera today. Lots of edits, lots of uh, great, amazing stuff coming. Uh, let me just share a couple of words of wisdom. Have you guys ever heard my analogy of the glass tube in the ocean? Okay, so picture this. This is not a tube necessarily, but just imagine it was a tube and it was enclosed and there was sort of just air in it and you dropped it in the ocean. It would sink down and eventually it would get to the level where the pressure of the water would crush it. It would just crush and the glass would smash, right? But now imagine this, same glass tube, but this time you fill it with the ocean water, fill it to the brim and then you close it up. It's filled with water and you drop it in the ocean. What happens? It'll sink down to the level but this time it's not gonna crush. So you could say, when the tube is filled inside with the same stuff that is on the outside of it, putting pressure on it, it will remain strong and resilient. But when the tube doesn't have the same stuff inside it, it gets crushed under the pressure. Now, the wisdom here and the metaphor is that you're the tube and your traits are the water. You are in a society here, in a work dynamic, in a family dynamic, in a relationship dynamic, and every single one of the human traits is coming at you, putting pressure from the outside. And to the degree that you own those traits on the inside, at the same amounts as they are pushing on you from the outside, you will remain strong and resilient. But to the degree you don't own the traits on the inside, you're gonna get crushed under the pressure. And so maybe you wanna write this down. Your level of personal mastery is directly correlated to the number of traits that you own inside yourself. And that includes opposite traits because you are active and lazy, adventurous and cautious. You are, guess what? Altruistic and narcissistic. People tend to sort of just, oh, well, I'm only this side, I'm not that side. And guess what? When this shows up on their outside, they get crushed by it. And guess what? Here's one of the paradoxes we live in. This is the duality we live in. One side is the so-called positive and one side is the so-called negative based on common perception. And when someone calls you this, by the way, all these positive ones, it feels good. Oh man, imagine getting called brilliant, capable, aspiring, captivating, confident, courageous, creative, all the things. People call you that, it's, it feels good. When people are around you express these traits, oh, they're top, top, top bloke, top people. But this side is a little bit more painful to digest and a lot of people don't want to own this side of themselves. Imagine here if you were a narcissistic, careless, ignorant, simple, uneducated, inefficient, rigid, fake, lying, dishonest, dumb fuck. The truth is every single human has every single trait. And so if you own more of the positive side, by the way, it's called self-esteem, high self-esteem or pride. And you're sort of disowning and dishonoring the other side. If you own more of the negative side, some people have that, it's called low self-esteem or shame. But when you take the time to own opposite sets of traits, you get what is called self-worth, higher self-worth. Self-worth is both. I'm smart and I'm dumb. I'm caring and I'm a fucking killer. Both is self-worth. If you just own one side of yourself, I guarantee you're either in a degree of pride or shame and you'll get crushed by the other side when it shows up on the outside or when someone uh, accuses you of it, or pushes your buttons, you're gonna get pushed around by it because you haven't owned it. But when you own complementary opposite traits, you absorb the potential energy of both. And it's very easy and fluid to move through here and get what you want. So that document that I was just showing you is part of my purpose process. And that particular sheet is called owning the traits. And so that's my equivalent of like filling up your glass tube, helping you to own everything on the inside. So nothing can touch you, nothing can crush you on the outside. And it's about owning all the parts of yourself. You are here to own it all and love it all and embrace it all. To the degree that you push it away and, and I don't wanna deal with it and wanna do escapisms and all this kind of thing, you're not gonna get on with it. You're not gonna evolve, you're not gonna master your own life. Speaking of which, I just filled out my glass tube again. Mm. Look at these guys, beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Oh my word, oh my holy gosh. I haven't even looked at the sunset yet. Uh, a couple of more words here, let me share. I was gonna say uh, purpose, that my purpose process, lewismocker.com forward slash purpose is not just about finding out what your unique mission here is, why finding out your values, finding out why the things in your past have happened to give you the guiding synchronicities to be on this track that you're on now. But it also helps you to deal with what's happening in your relationships, in your family, in your household, in your work dynamic, and, and finding out the different buttons that people are pushing on the outside and why they're pushing them. And also then to go and fill your glass tube and own all the traits as well. It's all of it. 
plus uh, relationship linking. Like it's a very it's a very comprehensive program, purpose program. So if you're interested in that and you want to do self discovery, which is one of the most valuable things that you could invest in, do my purpose process.